by. I want to show you my stream table. I'm so pleased with this thing. Well, uh, let's start up here at the higher end. Here's the water source coming from my pump and it goes into the spray head. Half inch PVC, pop it right out of its handy wire holder, and uh, we have tiny holes that have been drilled with the smallest drill bit, you know, whatever size that is, I don't know, 164th or something. And we put it into the wire hanger, the custom unique wire hanger that just holds it there. So the water comes down out of the spray head and it makes this really nice little river, okay? Uh, and it erodes the sediment. Uh, the sediment comes from a local stream. It's mostly a fine grain sand. Silt is in there and there's a lot of clay. So uh, you really want that uh, blend of sediment sizes, sand, silt, and clay. Why do you want that? Because a major learning point is that Flowing water, rivers, streams are really good at sorting the sediment. They sort it out. The, the faster uh, water will transport all sediment sizes. And you can see right down here, Deanna, the sorting is very, very clear. But we have, we have the larger grain sediment here deposited where the water was still flowing fairly quickly. And then the medium-sized grain stuff is down here, say on the edge of the delta. It's a little finer. And out here in the deep water, we have the finest sediment of them all. This is where the clay settles out. Look at that on the finger. Clay grains. You need an electron microscope to see clay grains. Okay, they're into the uh, ten thousandths of a millimeter in diameter. Uh, many, many times smaller than sand grains, which can be seen with the naked eye or, or something like a magnifying glass. <clears throat> okay, down here on the ocean end, um, here's the drain. Now, it's covered in sediment, but there is a rubber um, fitting that is embedded. It's embedded in the floor of the stream table. And through that rubber fitting, we have this flexible uh, pipe, which I'm going to move, and you're gonna be able to see it. You can see it coming up there. I can change sea level by bringing it up or by bringing it down. There you go, see? And I can manipulate sea level just like on the real earth, we have glacial periods where sea level worldwide goes down because there's uh, most of the world's water supply is locked up as ice. We have times when sea level rises during warming trends like we've had for the last 10,000 years. Sea level's rising now, and I can make it rise by picking this tube up, and we can make the coastline get flooded. Here you go with the drain tube that we were looking at, which can be, you know, raised or lowered to change water level. It drains into this bucket. Now it's really two buckets, two buckets um, nested inside of each other. And I've drilled, you know, like one inch diameter holes through the bucket. And I've got a piece of filter cloth sandwiched between the two buckets. So the water goes from the stream table into the bucket and it comes out through these holes and is filtered by the filter cloth. Now outside of the bucket, inside this larger tub, we have the main sump. Okay, and in the sump we have the pump. There's your pump tied to a brick with a piece of inner tube. See it right there? Okay. Picks the water up and sends it up this tube back up to the spray. Now I've got this valve here. See, the, the water flows from the pump to this T. Now most of the water goes here 
and just comes out the valve and goes back into the sump. Because if you didn't have this, the spray head provides too much resistance and it might burn out the pump. So you have to let the pressure release through this valve. When I shut this valve off, as I'm doing right now, that forces more water to the spray head and we get more of a flow coming down the river up there. And let's go ahead and plug it in. The, uh, the pump on the town. Here we see the water coming out of the spray head. See here a well developed floodplain. And a floodplain is a concept that students have trouble with. When I bring them up to the stream table and I say, Show me the floodplain, they'll say, Well, yeah, the whole thing's a floodplain, Mr. Howell. And I say, oh yeah? I say, watch this. I say, it's the spring of the year. The snow is melting in the Rockies. Let's increase the flow. Now watch, the floodplain is the only place that's going to be flooding. And now the students can see, hey, this is the floodplain. Only this area is the floodplain. This is not floodplain. This is not floodplain. You can see the fine grain sediment continuing to move out to the deep water. It looks like smoke. Look at it over there. While the coarse grain sand, the big sediment, is being dropped right there on the sea coast. So already we see sorting going on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the flow rate down. And this will simulate late summer. The snow's all melted. We're not getting much rain in the uh, drainage basin of the river, and so the water, uh, the water level goes down in the floodplain. The floodplain dries out. Now the river is strictly confined to its channel. Now notice I've changed water level. The, the drain is a little bit higher than it was before, so the delta is being flooded. Well, that's what's happening to New Orleans. New Orleans is built on a gigantic delta of the Mississippi, but sea level's rising, so there's a big challenge there in the Crescent City. That kind of wraps up the stream table. Now let's go look at the simulated volcano. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs>